Hello, good afternoon. It's a pleasure to, to stay here with you and to tell you more about Colombia and how we work in tropical crops. So I'm an entrepreneur from Colombia. We founded a Novo Agro Group 10 years ago. Now it's a group with three companies. The first company is Agrofuturo. Agrofuturo is a marketplace that connects farmers with the supply chain in Colombia uh, to, to give access to markets, to technology, and to knowledge. The second company is Agro. It's an it's a asset manager that is focused in primary industries, and we grow cocoa, palm oil, and pineapple. The third company is AgriCapital. AgriCapital is a company that structures and develops innovative solutions for financials, specialized in medium and small size uh, producers. <clears throat> Colombia is located in South America. Uh, today we have 10 free trade agreements signed uh, that give access to more than uh, 1.7 billion customers around the world without free taxes, without taxes. And we have five main regions in our country, something that is very important in only in three regions in half of the country, live 97% of the population. And in those regions are most of the crops in our country. The other half uh, part of the country only live 3% of the population. And there is a flat land uh, that is available to use right now without cutting the rainforest. Something that is very important is we have uh, many uh, thermal flo floors. So that allow us to produce in all season all over the year. So that's a competitive advantage because we can go to, uh, to, to the markets in different seasons that traditional countries does. That's, those are some examples of the, the, the thermal floors. Uh, the first picture is uh, a traditional crop uh, in zero meters or 100 meters above the sea level. Uh, we have crops uh, like cocoa, like palm oil, like, uh, like beef, livestock, uh, in that thermal floors, and the other one is coffee. Most of the coffee in our country is in, in, on the hills, and above 1,200 1, meters above the sea level. Okay, here, some um, of these crops uh, need a lot of hand, um, a, a, a people to, to, to pick their product. So we have a lot of challenge uh, in technology to, to develop uh, the picking uh, of these crops. Something that's very important, uh, we have a lot of natural resources. 77 million hectares in our country. Our rainforest is almost uh, 60% of our territory. And we, we're the second largest biodiversity uh, of animal species in the world. That's very important. And we are the fourth country with greater availability of water worldwide. And we are really don't using all of these natural resources. So with technology, we can improve a lot our yields, our productivity, and our crops. Those are some um, facts about the use of land in, in our country. The, the blue tab is how are we using uh, today the lands? And the red tab is how should we use the land? The, the first one is cattle, livestock. We're using uh, from 140 um, million hectares that we have, we are using 37 million hectares in, in, in cattle, in livestock. And uh, we have 25 million animals in that land, so it's around 0 0.6, 0 0.7 per hectare. So it's, it's so inefficient. Uh, we should go down to 12 million hectares and go double in, in the number of animals. 
For the other side, or on the other hand, we have agriculture, only 7 million hectares, and we should have 20 million hectares. That transition is doing at this time. Uh, different from here, and from um, all the developed countries, we have only 32% of temporary crops, like corn, like wet, like uh, cotton. And most of our crops are permanent crops, like coffee, palm oil, uh, cocoa, avocado, some fruits. So that means that our crops are crops of 30 years, 25 years, more than 10 years. Those are our main crops right now. The, the first one is coffee. is a, a, a crop of lack of technology, but many people live from this crop, around 500,000 families in our country. The other one is, is fruits. It's increasing a lot, avocado, uh, lime, mango, pineapple. So we have a big potential in, in fruits. Uh, in cocoa also we have a big potential but lack of technology and palm oil is increasing, has very good technology. There are business people in, in this crop and the other important uh, crops are flowers, uh, banana, like you know, and, and corn and, 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 and cotton. <clears throat> I want to speak about the weaknesses that we have at this time. The principles are education, connectivity, to, to, to give access to that people, uh, to all the services, the basic services. The, we have a very atomized production. We have more than 2.7 million uh, farmers in our country uh, that are small and medium, uh, and those people uh, buy everything atomized. Uh, the infrastructure uh, in some regions is uh, lack of infrastructure, and also some crops have lack of technology. There are many challenges. One of them is knowledge. Here, uh, there are many people who is working in platforms to, to give access to knowledge. So we have to think how can we go and, and give access to, to knowledge in tropical uh, crops especially in, in, in Latin America or in Asia or in Africa. Uh, access to capital. How can we get capital to improve uh, our crops and our value chain? Then something that's very important is how can we use the technology that we are developing here or in other countries to tropical countries? So how can we adapt that technology? Uh, platform to connect small farmers with the final consumer. Uh, this is very important because they have to pass for two or three middlemen, so they get a very low price for their products. The other one is technology for mountain, cro mountain crops. If you have problems here to pick the strawberry, we have more problems to pick the, the coffee because it's, it's, it's on the hills. Uh, you have to pick a lot of tons per hectare with a small grain, so it's very tough. And um, the role of new generations. The new generations is, is not only to, to harvest. The new generation has to think about technology, to think about coding, to think about the internet, to think about all of these things. Um, in our country, uh, in, in, in our company, we are developing basic solutions, something easy to use. So we start uh, in the first step in the value chain because the, 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 the input supplies cost uh, from 20 to 70% of the total uh, cost of the product. So we started uh, doing a marketplace to connect farmers with uh, input supplies. <clears throat> like I told you, today uh, the, the medium and small farmers pay from 20 to 50% more for their products, for their supplies. And also they, they get low quality. They, they buy on the corner or in their village and high delivery cost. So we develop two, two, two forms to buy. One is crowdsourcing. Just they, they, they put their order and we give the quote from different um, suppliers. 
The other one is when we identify somebody that is buying a, a, a big amount of products, we, we send uh, information to the, to, the, to the producers that are in the same region, and we make group buying, like a big cop. The other one, we have been 10 years collecting information about possibilities to invest in, in Colombia, in lands, in companies, in, in projects. So we have a very good database of opportunities. And uh, we are constantly going to, to bring investors to, to Latin America and to Colombia. And uh, to conclude, we, we see three big opportunities. First one is to adapt and develop simple technologies for tropical crops. This is a big market also. Uh, I know that uh, precision agriculture is very important. We need precision agriculture, but we also need human agriculture and human technologies. How to pick better, how to uh, give skills to the people, uh, how to uh, teach them uh, how to, to, to increase their yields. Uh, we can uh, develop simple technologies also that will bring a lot of, um, a lot of uh, benefits, and that's very important. The second is connect uh, tropical agriculture value chain with capital and technology, not only uh, the, the production. Uh, we also need to connect with customers. We also need to commerce with the supply chain, and we, we have to think in the value chain. And third, develop education and knowledge platforms for small and medium producers. We think that those are the, 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 the main opportunities for all of you that are here, that have access to all the, 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 the best technology in the world. And it's easy to develop platforms to go to Colombia and to many countries and, and develop that. Thank you very much.